Spanish, uh, and I have been professor for, uh, I don't know, almost 20 years. Uh, I originally studied East Asian studies, uh, and I worked, I was professor at the University of Illinois for many years, uh, and uh, I worked in Washington, D.C. for two years with the Korean embassy, and I started a think tank then uh, in Washington, D.C. on policy uh, and economics called the Chorus House, run by the Korean embassy by the uh, uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Radio Sanai, a think tank with Uno Hesinga. So uh, when I came to uh, Korea, I was in Daejeon for the uh, four years, and I worked largely with uh, uh, technology, science and technology. So we did research at the Asian Institute starting from 2007 uh, on technology and science and internationalization. So, uh, so I worked with uh, I did a lot of things on technology uh, and society. Uh, and then uh, I came to, to uh, Kyung University uh, to work uh, uh, as a professor uh, in what's called Humanitas College, program in uh, uh, humanities, uh, but also combining uh, sciences. So I, I had done both humanities. My field was literature. I uh, did originally Chinese literature and then Japanese literature. The uh, I was interested in comparative literature, but I also spent, when I was at the University of Illinois, I put a lot of my work into work with the uh, Department of the School of Engineering and the Department of Special Engineering and Chinese Special Engineering. So I have an interest in working on both technology and uh, humanities, and also particularly on international relations and environmental issues. Uh, so uh, about the four or five years ago, I came to the conclusion that for the future, that the most important people were not professors or politicians, but was in fact young people. And I felt that in Korea, and I know this now for a fact, that the most thoughtful and creative people in thinking about serious issues in Korea tend to be high school students. So uh, we have included them increasingly in the Asian Institute uh, as interns, but also in all of our events now, we have discussant uh, or the uh, we had a, for example, we had a seminar by internet uh, with uh, a known Chomsky, who was a very famous professor at uh, MIT. Uh, this is about, uh, I think it's four years ago. And we had uh, high school students and college students uh, who led the discussion with him? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I just I said I introduced him, and then I let the students talk to him. Uh, we had Professor Mark Shell, who's a professor of comparative literature at Harvard, uh, and we just mentioned Cheon, who actually was met with him, professor at Harvard, I think just about the, about a month or two ago. Uh, so they continued to work with the other. And when he came to Korea too, we had a seminar, and we had actually a special uh, uh, event for about an hour and a half, where he spoke only with high school students. Uh, and a couple of college students uh, for about, uh, about his, his ideas and answered their questions. Um, so the reason why uh, young people are so important, okay, well, first I felt that in Korea that the young people, particularly high school students and college students, are the most creative and thoughtful and we really need them. Uh, I also felt uh, that uh, the world is changing very quickly. So after, uh, so our children will be facing a very different world uh, than we did, uh, and we should not assume that they can just follow a very standard uh, path uh, to success, you know, going to high school, college, and then they'll live happily ever after that the world may be very different, and it requires uh, for our young people to be successful that they're able to think strategically about the future and to determine things for themselves. Uh, so the point of Asian Institute uh, was first the three topics of interest were uh, technology, 
that how technology is changing and how that change uh, is a changing our society and our world around us quickly. The second had to do with the environment, and particularly uh, you talked a lot about climate change because environmental changes are having a tremendous impact on us and they, I think, will in the next 60, 70 years be a determining factor. So uh, Asian Institute, we're not interested. We want to actually focus on a very realistic uh, strategy, survival strategy. So we talked a lot seriously about the environment and want our students to be able, young interns to be able to think for themselves about what their future may be. And even if all the people around them and all the newspapers are giving them one story, but they should have the insight to be able to determine for themselves what their future will be and to think strategically. The insightful ability is very, very important. Uh, and the third point, which I stressed, we stressed at Age Institute, uh, is the importance of international relations. People tend to think of international relations as being, you know, diplomats or ambassadors, and that is, of course, part of it. They should get on maybe you could take money and then you say something on them. My name kind of Facebook and our social net the part of how well he's a plan you know. He's a little hand you know how well, you know, could take money to tell you and then which one. The relationships between people around the world are becoming much more complicated, much more uh, close, but also uh, much more difficult. And so we really want young people, uh, our interns from a young age, to think seriously about these issues uh, for themselves and to be able to anticipate uh, what the future may be. Uh, finally, the whole point of internships uh, in and our discussion is not for us to teach, right? It on could teaching it then go keep on doing all good. Kind of single touch in and as I like to say, teaching is learning aloud. So. <laughs> I'm learning, and as I'm learning, I'm saying it aloud so that people around me can uh, participate in the learning process. But I don't assume that I know better than young people. Often young people know much better than I do. Their minds are much more uh, uh, flexible. So I think that's a very critical part of it. And the second is uh, that I think we have to anticipate in the future, uh, and in Korea particularly, but not just in Korea, very dramatic changes. You say we would like to inculcate in our student that ability. So this is very, very important to us, specifically about the Global Youth Institute. So Age Institute has existed uh, for eight years. Our hope of Global Youth Institute is the institute itself is run by the young people. Uh, and of course, Asian students, uh, the center is of course, uh, the older you know, professors and experts. Uh, but Global Youth Institute is very exciting as a space in which uh, youth, young people themselves can essentially run the organization and, and be creative and I think uh, the Global Youth Institute, we're still forming it, but I have great uh, hopes for the sort of uh, role that it can play in the world and that through very thoughtful young people within it, that they will be able to find partners around the world. Global Youth Institute, so I have great expectations. Uh, and I will do my best uh, to be helpful, everybody. Uh, and uh, I also, my children, so my father and his children, they also will have come to our events and will be in the, in the future. So I'm a teacher, a father. I have as a father also a great interest 
in education, and I spend a lot of my time thinking about it. Well, 반드시 잘 하지 않지만은 관심 많고 여러분하고 많이 교류하고 많이 참여하면 좋겠습니다. 맞습니다.